Morning Periscope. Um, I'm on my way to Manhattan right now. I'm half stuck in a half traffic jam. So I figured uh, my brain's racing. I might as well, instead of talking to myself, talk to somebody out here. So um, I had success. I posted the past few days about trying to get Periscope running on a PC, in particular Macintosh running Mac OS X. Um, <clears throat> and this morning I had success with it. So I'm, I'm pretty pumped up about that and excited and happy. Um, I have a bunch of projects that, that could benefit from that. Um, I do a multitude of things, even though my talk so far have been uh, flea markets. I also do stuff that have nothing at all to do with flea markets. Um, nothing at all to even, even really to do with selling something. Except at the end of the day, if you're in business, you're always, um, I mean, not literally selling something, but at the end of the day, you're selling yourself, which turns out to be an important commodity. You are a commodity. You are gold. Okay? All right. So just to back up a second, um, to repeat, um, I have Periscope running on my Mac. Uh, I have um, uh, Yosemite. Yosemite is running on it, so it's the latest version. Um, it's on a virtual machine called VirtualBox, and a particular one uh, that lets you load virtual Android machines called Jenny Motion. At least that's how I say it. I do not know how to say it properly. It's G E N Y in Motion. Um, so after a lot of hem and hawing and, and this and that and researching and, and just scratching my head and other anatomical parts, um, I've, I finally hit on the right formula. Uh, it's still not exactly where I want it to be. Um, it's on an older version of Android, but, and I'd rather it be on the most modern one possible. Um, as well, the version of Periscope, um, doing this from my head, might be 1.1.4, whereas I think the actual last version of Periscope was 1.4.1, where I could it could be 4.1.1 and it should be 4.1.1. I don't remember. Uh, I'm proverbially tired, literally, physically, metaphorically, so I don't remember all facts all the time. Um, I'm never. I'm running on empty most of the time. Um, so, so there we are. So we had Periscope running. Um, I, I spent a while perusing a lots of stuff, and it's confirming that I made the right choice by doing that, which is part of what I want to talk about too, setting goals and determination and things like that. Um, because I had a, on a whim, this was the right thing, and uh, as I was um, playing with it, actually I got it working o over the night. So when I say this morning, I don't mean it's going on 11 o'clock now, I don't mean an hour ago. It was, it was, it was not the wee hours, but it was, maybe 5 a.m. or something I you know what I don't know when it was but it was it was early this morning so um, while doing that I got to peruse more of pe Periscope than I normally have been able to and it was quite interesting um, there was people in a conference in Australia scoping it um, there was another guy uh, lots of people talking about um, God uh, there's enough other people doing totally weird stuff, uh, like a young girl doing something she wasn't supposed to be involved with. Um, people prank calling each other. Um, I think there was somebody else uh, who was on a rooftop in Manhattan showing you Manhattan. In the meantime, he was screaming. I actually turned down the volume at that point because I didn't want to hear what he's saying. Uh, I think there was also somebody reporting on anthropology. Uh, there was somebody showing you how to shine your shoes. So this is really uh, an amazing mechanism, and uh, everybody had followers. There, were, there was dozens of people in each room. So, so that's a very interesting uh, phenomenon. And social media is interesting in its own right. Uh, you could argue it's useless, but there's also points uh, where it makes sense. And as a learning thing and a teachable moment, um, the point here is that uh, I set a goal. I didn't know if I could achieve it. Um, as I had mentioned in another video, I am technical and a geek. So that was on my side, so to speak. Um, I could see somebody without that knowledge and background, not knowing 
how to maneuver through the the problems I ran into trying to get Periscope running on, on the Macintosh. So, um, set goals. Set goals. You can do it. Um, I would not have been able to accomplish this if, if I didn't keep pushing myself. Um, and in anything you do, whether it's business or not, your family, you have to work at being married, you have to work at having a relationship with friends. You, you, you can't be an a-hole all the time. Um, so it's worth seeing what's before you, setting goals, often setting a goal higher than you can ever possibly reach is realistic and unrealistic at the same time. It's unrealistic in the sense that you may ever, never ever reach that goal. But if you don't set it that high, you won't get as high as you can get, okay? And there's things about the human spirit and cooperation and other things. If you ever thought, what makes an Olympian have their best performance they ever had? What makes an ice skater have a flawless performance? What makes a runner run faster than they've ever run before? Just because they're in the Olympics. They've, they've trained for years, they've timed themselves, and somehow that one event, the human spirit cherishes and comes through, okay? So that's important. So I'm not saying that's what got me get to get Periscope on the Mac, but it's that mentality, the positive mentality. I could have said, oh, this sucks. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, I don't understand what it means. Oh, blah, 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 wah, wah, wah. And I could not have gotten it accomplished. And I would not have gotten it accomplished. <clears throat> what I did was, was took a more complicated problem. I broke it down into pieces. That's called divide and conquer. And tried to address each piece. And then as I figured out each part, I figured out how, how can I piece these back up together again. Okay? And then, and then I finally got it. Okay. There was some notices on the internet that helped me out, uh, but they all left out information, and it was trying to piece them together. That was really the, the, the you know, the straw that broke the camel's back for me to getting this accomplished. Okay, so I have Periscope going on the Mac because of my determination only. There's no other reason. And now that I've used it, I got to spend a few hours looking at other, other scopes live and, and whatever. I had been doing it for the past few weeks anyway, but it was mainly related to flea market things and stuff like that. Or people I just happen to know and end up following or whatever and stuff. So, the teachable moment is that set goals. You'll reach them. Okay? Everything won't be successful. And even from your failures, there are teachable moments. Okay? So... What I'm probably going to do at some point, uh, as with all these, I'll, I'll post it on YouTube so people can, can understand that periscoping from your, your Macintosh is possible. Uh, I have not tried periscoping um, from Windows. Um, I'm assuming the procedure is going to be similar because once you set up the virtual machine, the way you establish the uh, bringing in the, the other applications, for instance, in this case, periscope, should be similar. So the way to drop something in with Macintosh is going to be different than the way we drop it in Windows, but the drop-in capability is available on the user interface, so so it will be possible. So uh, just if anybody has a question about how I did it, you can email me at envythisstuff at gmail.com. That's envythisstuff at gmail.com. Uh, I'm going to post a, a, a scope, um, and, and this will end up on YouTube um, as well showing exactly how to do each step. Um, because what's probably gonna happen is, um, as time goes on, as anybody knows with any software, uh, the next release has new features, and sometimes the new features is removing an old feature. Uh, so for instance, the current limitation I have is that um, even though I can do almost everything on the Periscope here, um, through the Macintosh, I cannot use the camera. Uh, it, it, bops the camera light on, and then it immediately says that Periscope fails and it exits Periscope. Um, I believe, doing some researching that, I believe that's because I do not have the latest version of Periscope, or at least the later version of Periscope. Um, I was able to get the virtual machine and the virtual Android to, to take snapshots through the, through the camera app, so that's not the hindrance. Um, so there's something in the API where uh, it's using something outdated or something like that. 
because I'm not actually convinced I'm using the right Periscope for the version of Android that I have loaded in the Android version machine. So, um, so I still want to pursue that. But if the furthest I can get is um, um, being able to view other scopes in this manner, then then it's a drastic improvement. For one thing, I the screen I have an iPhone five. The screen is too small. I just always have hated typing on the t keyboards of an iPhone. Um, it's wonderful technology. I'm not, not putting it down that way. I do love the phone. Um, but even if I was upgraded to an iPhone 6 Plus or, or, or a Note, you know, Samsung Note 2 or something, or some wider thing, or, or use a tablet, uh, it's still kind of the same limitation. And I'd rather just use a keyboard. Um, I have used Bluetooth keyboards, and I, I'm satisfied with those. But um, if I'm at home, too, I, I want to be able to cut and paste often. Um, I want to do other things, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. So um, this is just another aspect to my my electronic toolkit, if you will. So so that'll be beneficial for me. Um, so my immediate goal was to get Periscope on the Mac, and I've achieved that. So at this point, when I have time, uh, I'll start tweaking it. And what I'll do is probably in the next week. I don't know if I'll do it today. I, I doubt it. Give more detailed things. Because one thing that, that's the case with Periscope is that it chews up the battery of your phone. Uh, in fact, it, it it's flipping my uh, Macintosh into fan mode. Um, I'm, I don't think it's the Android version machine doing it. I'm positive it's... It's um, Periscope doing it. So I don't know what it's chewing up or doing, but um, in any event, so the good news is I got it running. The good news is that um, it pretty much uh, has all the same functionality and, lim and limitations as Periscope. Uh, the videos come out nice. Um, what I'm probably gonna do is, is go on a bigger screen, so it, I, I wouldn't mind seeing some of the images larger. Uh, it may still shrink it down, though, so I, I have to play with that. But at least my immediate goal of, of doing this has been accomplished. So um, that's the good news. Um, the teachable moment, again, is set goals. Shoot for the stars. You can do it, no matter what, what, what the issue is. Um, don't, don't be ridiculous, though. Um, so, for instance, uh, using my analogy of uh, the Olympian... Um, making the best performance ever. Um, I, I'm 50 something years old right now. I'm out of shape. Um, I, furthermore, I don't even, I can't, even if I got in shape, I have physical problems. Uh, I have problems with my ankles, etc., etc. So as much as I might want to be an Olympian ice skater, I'm never going to be one. So it would be ridiculous of me to start training to be an Olympian ice skater. So be realistic but also be unrealistic, as I said earlier. You can still set goals a little higher and sometimes a lot higher. Um, as I said, I'm in my 50s now, and if I could count the number of times that I achieved things that people told me I couldn't achieve, it, it's a lot of times. Um, there's a lot of haters, there's a lot of people who are ignorant, completely ignorant, um, and we're gonna talk about some of those things uh, probably in a future scope. because um, there's lots of business obstacles and most of them are actually not money ones. So it's a lot of in people's minds and why is this guy not letting me go past there? A lot of it's in people's minds and a lot of people, I don't know why, because it's not of my mentality, are just so happy to be in the nine to five rat race um, that I just, I just don't really understand. So um, they're, they're happy to go nine to five. And if they're happy, they're happy. But one thing is they think that's the model everybody else needs to follow. Hey, good morning. They think that's the model everybody else needs to follow. And it ain't so. It ain't so. There's many ways to do multiple things. And just because the world conforms to, to whatever social norms are, there, there are, it doesn't mean we need to as well. Okay. And, um, if, if I could count